Thank you for staying for the news. Now in our first story, Ghana may secure that crucial financing assurance from its bilateral creditors before the end of this year. This is what Joy News has picked from persons close to the IMF in Washington, D.C. in the United States. Now the IMF in separate meetings with a Ghanaian team also indicated it would move quickly to approve Ghana's program as soon as this financing commitment was secured. In, uh, in uh, constant contact with uh, uh, the authorities uh, in Ghana, uh, we have worked very hard and very swiftly to have the uh, a program for Ghana, three billion support program for Ghana in place. Uh, we have been urging Ghana's creditors to act swiftly. Uh, my uh, uh, appreciation for uh, also the proactive uh, uh, role of uh, the uh, Minister of Finance of Ghana in reaching out to creditors. Uh, we are uh, expecting that uh, next week there will be uh, discussions uh, among creditors. And uh, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, I use every opportunity myself to urge them to act swiftly. Uh, let's remember that um, uh, Ghana for a long time uh, has done really well to tap uh, markets to finance uh, its uh, growth path. Uh, it has been uh, uh, like uh, all innocent bystanders hit by COVID, hit by the war uh, in uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, and it has uh, complicated uh, domestically uh, the ability to, uh, to finance uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, budget. Uh, uh, so uh, a country that has long track record of sound macroeconomic management ought to be supported to return to, uh, uh, to markets. So our program is a bridge for Ghana. Uh, and to and to, to tell you the to tell you the truth, I'm actually quite optimistic. I think Ghana is going to move. The, um, the creators are going to move, and we are going to uh, move swiftly. So I guess the short answer to you is: stay tuned and stay positive.